Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Doug, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've learned in class so far. All right, so I've made this um, the same video two times now. I've had errors on both of them, so I'm learning as I'm going. I'm not the best, uh, like I said in my commentary yesterday. I'm I'm just I'm still learning, so uh, bear with me. All right, so today I took three pictures, one of an empty room. So let's start with that one. This is not my house, I got them from Google. So uh, if you open up the picture, you can do that, or you can go to File, Open, and find it exactly from where you want it. Now today what we're gonna do is we are going to paint the walls. So let's begin that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this lasso and you hold down. If you see a triangle on the bottom right of any logo, if you hold the picture, it opens to something else. There's more options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with this lasso and we're gonna click right here and when you do this you don't have to hold it in it follows wherever you go and we're gonna go on the outlines of the wall then we want to go around this actually okay right, let's okay that's a perfect example let's say I got some of the picture in it I didn't want that all I have to do is hit the backspace and it goes back so if you're having troubles with that alright so now that I went all the way around and it it didn't do anything you just hit enter and then it does it for you sometimes it messes up alright as you can see the the lines are right here so the walls are still available and these are not on the picture and the doorknob is in the way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold alt and as you can see there's a, a minus sign underneath um, the lasso so let's hurry up and do this hit enter so as you can see now the doorknob is not in the way but before we paint this what we're gonna wanna do is make a uh, duplicate we're gonna duplicate the layer and we're gonna drag this to the bottom down here right where this little logo is right next to the right next to that so now there's two of them so if you mess up one the other one is there and it's just it's just always good to have a backup alright so we want to get this out of it so that it doesn't mess up so we're gonna hold the control sign again as we do this and I'm not making it look good I just wanted to hurry up through this so that you guys get the right idea if you want to make it look good go ahead and pause the video and take your time so we have that and then we'll we'll take this one out too alright so now that we have it looking that way what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the, the bucket hold on to it and go down to the bucket pick the color that you want let's go with that color why not okay alright for some reason it's doing blotches maybe for you it's not doing that hopefully it's not because it just takes longer and normally anytime I, I do this it just does it fully so Hurry up and get this all blotched in. All right. So you guys are gonna say, "Wow, that looks kind of weird. It doesn't look realistic at all." Um, yeah, it doesn't. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go over here to layer where the it says normal, and you can pick uh, different ways for this room to look by just going down. You have different effects to it. But what I'm gonna tell you guys to go do from what I was taught you just go to color so there you go uh, the room would look nicer if I did you know better edges made it look a little bit better and you know made kept these white instead of painting over them see that one looks pretty good except for I messed up right there but as you can see you know that looks pretty good right there like that's your basic wall painting so if you ever move to a house and you want to see what a room's gonna look like take a picture of it and come in here and change it alright so now we're gonna hit control plus and that zooms the picture in and control minus to zoom out and let's say your lasso is out but you want to move in and you're zoomed in this far all you have to do is hit the space button and do that and you can move it around the space bar will do that alright so now we're going to um, alright backspace now we're going to put a background outside because no one likes to look out their window 
and see stairs. And if you see stairs, then I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. So we have that. And then what we're going to do is uh, hit the shift key, which adds another another um, cutout or lasso. So we're going to hurry up. And we're going to put that through. All right, so now we have, you know, if you look outside, you see that. All right, so we're going to go down. We're going to go and get a background picture. So let's get this picture right here. And we go right here and we go to this layer. So it opens up. That's what I would like to see if I was to look outside, which I don't. So that kind of blows. So uh, we're going to lasso this real quick. You don't even have to make it perfect. All right. And then hit enter. And then we are going to click right here on this. And you can do control C to copy it. Click on this picture right here. And then you're going to go into edit, special paste or paste special, and then paste into. All right. So you're like, you're wondering why does that look so shitty? Uh, I would kind of like to move it. Well, you can move it a little bit. You can make it look nicer but then you can go to let me see I think it's layer alright so I had to find exactly what I was talking about before I set it so I did a little cutout edit right there so what we're gonna do is if you wanna make it look better zoom in zoom out you go to edit and go to transform and there's different options of what you wanna do you can flip it to where the it's going the other way but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit scale and as you can see the lines right here Control minus, you can zoom out a little bit. The lines right here show that the image picture is that right there. So we can, you know, zoom in, zoom out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and make it look like I have a better, you know, like I'm looking out and it looks better. All right. So let's just say that that is my view when I look out my window. Uh, yeah, it's totally fake, but just the fact that I could put space out my window if I wanted to. So that's pretty much what I have learned in my first week. Um, actually, I can do one more thing. Let's put something in my house. All right, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to move. And the other guys. All right, let's lasso around this. It's a great movie, by the way. And then we're gonna copy it. Actually, we could just take this tool, and we can cut it right out of that. Hold this, and drop it into the uh, into the room. And then you can move it around, and then we are going to, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to scale this. We're going to make it look like it's a poster on my wall. No, that's not what I'm talking about, because it's not level, it doesn't look right. So we're just going to go back to edit transform and we're gonna put it on skew try to make it look more like it's on my wall alright yep looks crappy but that's a poster on my wall now and so what we did is we put furniture in here TV I put a gumball machine right here and so yeah that's what I've learned today so um, if you guys want me to get further into stuff like this and whatnot then tell me in the comments and I will it, I will put video responses in here so if you do this and, and make something cool send a video response and I'll approve it so that people can see it um, this is Doug um, rate this video subscribe if you would like and thank you guys for watching